or Mrs. Strasser, okay? All right, thanks. Good morning, how are you? Welcome to Calvin Smith. Good morning. It's an August morning and scores of parents and students are lining up at Smith Elementary School to sign up for summer camp. All right, do you want to write your name there? Yes. Can you write your name? This camp, however, isn't in the woods. It's in Chinese. They're, we're dividing them into two different classes. Um, the East Day will be filled. One half day will be the English part, and then the other half is all in Chinese. The program attracted many English-speaking American families and some who come from other cultures. Well, when you learn the language, you usually learn a little bit about the culture, and you learn a little bit the values. And, and so it helps open yourself up a little bit, not only to accept um, what you're familiar but also what you're not familiar with. So it makes you more easier to assimilate you know, the cultures, I think. Summer camp indeed. Some of the wide-eyed young students felt they had been dropped off at boot camp. Their teacher, Mrs. Chipman, would speak no English to this class, only Chinese. Smith Elementary School contracted with Chinese fluent teachers from Brigham Young University to conduct a program called Star Talk. For eight days, the students are immersed in Chinese-only teaching for part of the day. The second half of each day's camp mingles Chinese instruction and English. What's a moji? Say it together, everybody. By mid-morning on the first day, some of the young students are enthusiastically responding in their new language. What's that? National language experts confirm that young childhood is the best time to learn languages. The young brain seems to be pre-wired for language learning. Um, and so language learning comes naturally to young children. Later on, um, other older students and adults can learn new languages, but they don't learn them in the same ways that young children do. There's some pretty good evidence that early childhood is an ideal time for students to begin to develop a second language, not only in school, but even in the home. Recreation, too, is in Chinese. The students are taught Chinese music and dance. Already in the first hour, they've, you, can, you can tell them, come here, stand up, sit down. And so it's pretty cool. And they're getting it. And they are, and they're understanding every bit of it. After only a week of half-day Chinese immersion classes, the students show substantial comprehension and response in their new language. At the end of the camp, they are ready to demonstrate their newfound culture to their parents through story and music. With some language, with an understanding of the culture that they're going to enter as they go into language programs, these particular children are all enrolled in an immersion program that's going to start this fall in this elementary school. and parents were amazed at their children's progress and comprehension. I'm pretty familiar with the way that the language sounds, and so as I picked him up from school, we were driving home, and he starts speaking, and it sounded exactly like what my husband sounds like, and so I was impressed that the first day he had already picked up that much. For more information about regular immersion classes in Spanish, French, or Chinese, Call Granite District Schools at 385-646-4541 or visit us at www.graniteschools.org and search for Immersion.